Let's get some analysis with our Thursday regulars. Victorian former Liberal Party President Michael Kroger and former Labor Minister Stephen Conroy. Gentlemen, great to see you both. And as I said to Simon, looking forward to seeing you both Saturday night as, as well for our Aston by-election coverage. Stephen, turnout down, who does that benefit? Look, uh, I would have to say that that would be you know, disadvantageous to Labor in general. If you look at where you get by-elections around the country, history suggests it's Labor voters that tend not to come out. There's not a lot at stake. You know, we don't have the seat. Arbo's, you know, position as Prime Minister, forming governments, not under threat. So the, the passion to turn out to vote Labor will uh, will not quite be there and energised. And the other factor here in Melbourne, frankly, between, you know, Collingwood playing Richmond on a Friday night, you got the F1 over the weekend. Most people don't even know this, this uh, by-election is going on. Uh, so it's no shock to me to see that there's a, a slump in the, in the vote at this stage. I just hope that uh, the message and the campaigning on the ground is getting out to people. Michael, you would have seen the polling that Andrew Clennell reported, the internal Labor polling that has the approval rating for Peter Dutton well into negative territory, 21%, in fact, the approval rating. It's, it's tough territory for him to try and navigate. Labor are very good at producing polling, uh, leaked polling uh, somehow, confidential polling, uh, here and, uh, you know, days before an important event, uh, which always shows Labor in a good light and the Coalition in a bad light. So the media have to report this stuff. But what a surprise that Labor have produced polling saying Peter Dutton's unpopular and Albo's popular. What a shock that is to the, the system. The real question that you need to always ask of federal leaders, but no pollster ever does, is not whether you like the leader, but whether you respect them. So there have been plenty of unpopular leaders. Uh, you were talking about John Howard's 18% before. Plenty of unpopular leaders, Malcolm Fraser. I remember when Jeff Kemp got elected in 92, he was not the preferred premier to Joan Kerner, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, plenty of likeable people um, have failed in politics and not, not won elections. Uh, Kim Beasley was one, Andrew Peacock was another, et cetera, et cetera, great people. But the question is one of respect, not likability in federal politics, KG. Yeah, no, absolutely get that for sure. And, and that, that uh, Howard comparison is 100% right. He had an enormous respect, didn't he, and credibility and served him so well. Stephen Conroy, what's your read? Do you think Labor will, will go close? Because one thing that we have seen with Mr Albanese is that because of those low expectations the electorate held of him, He's just consolidated further and further his position since May 21 of last year. Yeah, look, I mean, all the history books suggest, you know, 100 years is, you know, an opposition lost an opposition seat in a by-election. Uh, so it's a big ask for Labor. I think we'll get a, a swing to us. I don't know it'll be enough for us to win. Uh, but, you know, Michael's point, you don't need Labor polling to tell you what what the Liberal Party think. You know, Peter Dutton has been like a mute dummy this week when it comes to doing press conferences, doing questions in Parliament. He's been hiding because the last thing he wants is his face in a newspaper, his face on TV at night, in, on the Melbourne uh, papers and, and TVs. So he knows that he is the... If, if they lose, it's because of him. So he is just absolutely invisible this week. So you don't need Labor polling to tell you that Peter Dutton knows that Peter Dutton is unpopular in the seat of Aston. It's there. What do you say to that, In terms Michael? of his own... Well, of course, Steve would say that. Uh, Peter's campaigned in Aston, I think, more than Albo has. Uh, no, I don't think he's had a low profile this week uh, at all in relation to Aston. But in relation, but in relation generally to the by-election, um, yeah, Steve was absolutely right. Uh, you know, history will tell you the Liberal Party will win. Uh, I certainly hope they do. There was there was a quite a big swing against us at the election for reasons that we well know. Uh, so I'm hoping for a small swing to the coalition on uh, on Saturday night. Obviously, if we didn't win, well, that would be. Uh, Extremely disappointing, but I expect the coalition to win. And, and then, might I say, an outstanding candidate in Rashina Campbell, who I know very well, and um, she will do a magnificent job as the member there if she's elected.